Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the Extreme Z Awakening for sale and just how good that Extreme Z Awakening is on DBZ Doka Metal Global. So obviously uh, I think everyone was super hyped by Gohan. Uh, and Cell is just as good a unit. In fact, Cell in some situations can even be better. The only problem with Cell is his teams are, at least for me, distinctly weaker overall. Uh, they do lack like a lot to make them functionally brilliant. So that's kind of what I feel is holding Cell back, whereas Gohan's far more versatile. But Cell, after his EZA, has an Android Cell Saga lead. Of 180% and 130% for extreme in type units. He raises defense for one turn on his 12 key, causes colossal damage and greatly lowers defense, while he greatly raises attack and causes mega colossal damage to the enemy and lowers attack on his 18 key. He has attack and defense of 120% and raises defense by up to 120%. The more HP remaining, the greater the defense boost. And he has an additional key plus 2 and attack of 30% per existing enemy. He also has an additional attack and defense of 50% when performing a super attack, as well as a high chance of launching an additional super attack. He also evolves when conditions are met. He will evolve when 40% when HP is 40% or less. This has been increased from 30% as kind of like his threshold, and it makes him far more accessible. I think I've mentioned this in a video, but it basically will occur 25% more frequently. In terms of links, he has quite a few of them. Uh, he's got Gentleman, Messenger from the Future, Big Bad Bosses, Kamehameha, Ultimate Life Form, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power, which are all really solid links uh, that do a pretty good job. Then we also have Resurrected Warriors, Full Power, Androids, Transformation Boost, Time Travelers, Artificial Life Forms. Android Cell Saga, Kamehameha, Target Goku, Revenge, Power Absorption, Miraculous Awakening, Planetary Destruction, Sworn Enemies, Accelerated Battle, Worldwide Chaos, and Battle of Fate as his categories. When he evolves into Perfect Cell, uh, he will greatly raise defense for one turn on his 12 key, and greatly raise attack and defense for one turn on his 18 key. He then fully recovers HP, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, int excluded to Rainbow, has key plus 6 in attack and defense of 180%, high chance of launching an additional super attack, damage reduction of 3% per key sphere obtained, attack and defense of 30% when attacking with 4 or more key spheres, plus an additional attack and defense of 40% with 6 or more key spheres, and an additional attack and defense of 50% with 8 or more key spheres obtained, plus an additional attack and defense of 100% and a high chance of forming a critical hit when activating the active skill or when key is 24. So Cell's got kind of like a lot of key based mechanisms, but the nice thing about Cell is he does create a ton of access to orbs by being a orb changer like the whole time. Cell's like a consistent orb changer the entire time. I think that's pretty highly valuable. And yeah, it makes him obviously super duper valuable. Like overall, he has a pretty strong kind of setup to do really good damage. So I think that's really solid from Cell uh, and yeah I think overall he looks really really good uh, at least to me I think he looks great here we can see him uh, my copy which is 69 percent with 282,000 defense which is really really good start of turn uh, it's important to understand that Cell uh, when he fires his super attack is going to dramatically increase uh, his defense so for example when he fires a super attack, it'll go up to well over 400k, uh, which is really, really good. So, Cell's looking really strong. This is against one enemy as well, so we don't even have remotely close to the full attack boost. So, I think Cell's looking, Cell's looking really good. Uh, obviously, you know, to each their own to a certain extent. Like, some players, I think, you know, may not like the fact that he, you know, doesn't have maybe, like, the most crazy start of turn defense like he doesn't have 500k at the start of turn but i think he looks really good a rainbow version has like 350k start of turn defense at turn one which 
in most situations is good enough. There's like very few events where that's not going to be good enough. Um, and yeah, like after Super, he's going to have more than enough defense for pretty much any event. So yeah, he looks really, really solid to me. Here we got him with a little bit more support. Uh, so you can see that that defense kind of climbed as well. We also have Big Bad Bosses active. So I do want to talk about his link set like a little bit. Because I do think it is important to kind of like mention his link set because I think it is something that is imperative like to his overall performance. So Cell and his link set, like Cell's link set is very crucial to him doing very well. Like to have Cell do incredibly well, he kind of needs to have like his link set active which is very very important for him as his link set is very crucial to how high his start of turn stats are not saying he's going to be bad without it but i definitely think he needs like a lot of them to kind of be or look as menacing as he can look so when you break down his link set uh gentleman super strong defensively 10 percent defense uh, messenger from the future, 10% attack, big bad bosses, obviously that huge start of turn boost to be 25% uh, attack and defense. Ultimate life form is 10% attack and defense, 3% health recovery and 2 key, which is again pretty big, like it's it's quite solid, it's quite like noticeable for a lot of, you know, like units. And fierce battles, 20% attack. So if you look at his three crucial links, which are gentlemen, big bad bosses, and ultimate life form, which he can only realistically get with other cell units, then you're looking at realistically speaking, uh, over 45% defense, 35% attack, four key, and three percent health recovery. Which I don't need to kind of hop on in a sense of like you know oh they're super crucial but they do make a noticeable difference to his performance and i mean that's just one of those things it's just how he looks with all those kind of like setups and requirements and everything sort of set up for him so yeah uh he look he's very good without them but he's just not gonna look the same without them if that makes sense like he he'll still be very good but the difference will be you're not, you're gonna see a cell that's pretty good you're not gonna see a cell that's insane and that's kind of where things lie with cell like with his link set especially you need to have all of those various kind of abilities active and that's really going to affect how he looks and how he performs you know, it's really going to change how he functions as a unit. So it is important. Um, there's no doubt about that. It is incredibly important to have him sitting in this position, to have him obviously being uh, linked up as best you can. But it's not, like I said, it's not the end of the world if he's not. It's just that he won't perform to nearly the best of his capabilities. Uh, if you don't do that so it's just there's a wide disparity between it more so than the fact that like it's necessary to make him functional if that makes sense like i think that's kind of where it sits or kind of where it lies for me at least when i look at him as a unit but you know to each their own it's not uh, like i say it's not entirely mandatory for you to like do any of these things so it's just going to depend again on like how much you want your cell to shine fortunately he does have a very good linking partner in the form of physical cell or you can see here just how impressive cell is going to look now uh, with all his links his crucial links active with um you know a little bit of support on the rotation he's fighting four enemies now so this is going to be pretty big from cell 12.7 million and that's huge yeah that is that is big uh, there's no doubt about it that is a sizable like attack stat that's gonna look very good and he can achieve that like he's great in those situations 
His second form's obviously better against, like, you know, single target kind of fights, but it is what it is. I think overall Cell looks really good. I just think he's a little bit more finicky to get there than Gohan. Gohan maybe doesn't have the peak of Cell, but Gohan does have like the consistency, the multiple linking partners, a, a large array of teams. So it does like it does matter if you know what I mean. So yeah, I do think at the end of the day, I would probably say that you know, I would probably say that Gohan's maybe better than Cell in terms of versatility and usability on a lot of teams, but I think Cell at his peak peak can look just as menacing as Gohan, um, if not more. I mean, Cell looks Cell's crazy. Like I still really do like Cell. I like everything about him. I like how he functions. I like everything he brings to the party. I think overall he's a really, really strong like unit. And I think he's a great showcase of like you know just how good units can be and how good easy A's can be. And Cell elevates his team. Like Cell takes a lot of his teams to the next level. Having a unit as strong as Cell really helps out like a ton of teams like so many teams need cell um, to really help boost and elevate them to being red zone capable to being like capable for a lot of the end game content it, it's just very impressive like cell is cell is that guy don't 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 question it cell is really impressive so here we have him transformed. Uh, in this transform state, it's important to note that he does replace one link. He replaces Gentleman with Revival. And so this does affect him a little bit. Revival's not as good a link as... Revival's not as good a link as, like, you know, Gentleman is. Gentleman's a lot stronger than Revival. Um, although Revival's a decent replacement, it's just not as strong. So losing it, losing Gentleman is obviously crucial, but it's not like a big deal. It, when I say that, I mean like it's not a huge train smash or anything, you know, to lose revival. And here you can see like he, he looks okay. Very good, very good stats and everything. A lot of his defense is gained on super though, uh, which is a very big difference to his base form. Uh, that might shock a lot of people. So you might see like, oh no, after his super or after his... You know, after his, like, um, transformation, his defense dropped down. That's not the case. Uh, it's just that, basically, all of those orb-based, like, defensive boosts only occur when he supers. So this is quite a significant difference, obviously, compared to, like, you know, before when it's not really entirely orb-based. So... Yeah, I would say it's definitely probably, like, in the realm of, like, okay, you need to make sure that you get all of the orbs. But he looks really good. I mean, he still looks crazy. And when you get all the orbs, he looks really nuts. Like, he does huge damage. Big thing here, though, um, compared to, like, the other units or anything, like, he has a high chance of performing a critical hit when he has max key. Which is important, but yeah, I would still say you want to have some crit, because, like, without the 24 key or the active skill, and without crits, big attack stats don't, they don't hit for much. It's not like huge, like, having huge attack stats doesn't, you know, change how everything is, you know? Having big attack stats doesn't make everything this really critical kind of, like, huge space it you need to have like certain abilities active or certain you know, like certain capabilities active to kind of make things work i think and that's kind of where like a little bit of the errors kind of lie with this like you know in terms of like cell you you just need to make sure that you get it, all the orbs. And yeah, he can take a little bit of damage, unfortunately, before he supers because of how his passive works. But the damage reduction does help. 3% per orb is pretty good. 
um, yeah, I would say at least, so don't panic too much. You should be pretty good. Like, you should be re relatively solid to go. But yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. I think in terms of, like, Cell and his performance and everything to do with him, I think he's really, really good. And looking at his links, you know, we have mentioned how pivotal three of them are. Gentlemen, Messenger, uh, Gentlemen, Big Bad Bosses, and Ultimate Lifeform are so much more crucial than all the other links that those are basically the only ones you need to be concerned about. Like, yes, Big Bad Bosses or a unit having Big Bad Bosses will help out and it will make things a little bit easier and you, know, you will be able to get like a solid amount uh, of work done if you just have big bad bosses that's there's no doubt about it so like big bad bosses fierce battle those kind of staple links that he has are great but the problem is uh without gentlemen without ultimate life form you don't have a lot of key like you don't have a lot of key at all and that does just affect how he functions unfortunately so for me at least when i look at sell and when i look at how you want to kind of build everything and put everything together i would say there's definitely a priority to make sure that these links are active like the more of these you can get the better it will just make him look so much more impressive than yeah if you don't have them at least for me like i think it's just very crucial to have him be at this point like to have him be very solid to have him be like a strong powerful unit and i think overall you know when i look at cell i think when you get him right he looks tops when you don't he not flops but he's definitely not as impressive as he is before his only issue is just his limitation of teams because of his link set and because a lot of his teams are actually just weaker in general he doesn't have the same versatility as Gohan, so you will never naturally see as much of him. Even though he is, at least for me, objectively, if you place both at their max, max, max power level, I find Cell to be as good. As good, if not slightly better for me. At least that's my opinion. But I think overall it's just the link set that does ultimately affect him at the day, end of the day. So that's going to be something that's going to impact you and is going to affect you know, how you can handle things and how Cell can handle things. AGL Cell is a great unit to pair with them. Uh, fortunately, Cell is really strong enough in this base form to be a first slot tank for a lot of content. So AGL Cell gets a ton of help there and they do link up really well once fully transformed. And they make a very potent pairing. That's going to be it from me. Let me know what you guys think. Love to hear it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, take care, stay safe, and bye.